I found two more near empty bottles in my cabinet and I need to get these things reviewed before I drink them. So let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to Whiskeyers. If you're new here, I'm Kevin and I have two bottles of whiskey that have almost nothing left in them. And I found them a while back, set them aside so I didn't drink them, but then I still forgot to put together an episode and review them. So this is that episode. These are both Campbellton whiskeys. They have a peated nature to them, as is common with Campbellton whiskeys. And they're both from Springbank, even though this one says Long Row on it. They are from the Springbank Distillery. The Long Row one is actually named after a distillery that used to be right next to Springbank, and their warehouse is now the bottling building for Springbank. These are very similar whiskeys in that they're both 46% ABV, and they're both non-chill filtered and have natural color. The Springbank 15 is a 15-year-old whiskey, which makes perfect sense according to the name, and the Long Row is a non age statement whiskey. Long Row is designed to be a more peaty, smoky whiskey, double distilled. So we'll see how they match up. I drank a lot of them. Don't know when I drank these. It's been a while. I know I set them aside a while back, just to be safe. I set them aside so much that I forgot about them, but hey, let's get some glasses. Let's drink this whiskey. So the Springbank 15 is $130 at my local San Francisco shops. I had a hard time finding it. It is aged in sherry cast, which is pretty cool. The long roll peated is a little cheaper at $85. I was able to get some of that at uh, my local whiskey shop, SF, but not at Total Wine or Bevmo. It is aged in both bourbon and sherry casks. I'm excited about these whiskeys because Springbank is such a cool distillery in the fact that it's very self-contained. All the processes that happen there happen there. They don't outsource any of them. And that makes it a very unique thing indeed because most distilleries, especially after they get to a certain size, have to outsource something. Either they have to get their grain from somewhere else or they have to do the malting somewhere else or they have to do the bottling somewhere else. And because they're a smaller distillery, it might be why I'm having a hard time finding the Springbank 15, but I'm gonna get dig into it right now and see what the 15 year smells and tastes like. I like the nose on it. It's got a little bit of peatiness. A slight bit of iodine on the nose. I'm getting a little bit of mint too on the Springbank 15. It's very nice though, I really like the nose. I'm gonna go ahead and nose the long roll before I start drinking. Oh, very different. So the long roll is more tire rubber. Yeah, much more mossy, much more earthy. Uh, maybe that's because it's more peated and maybe because it shares both bourbon and sherry casks. Whereas this one's influenced a lot more by the sherry. And it may have a lot more time in the cask because this is a fruitier nose. Although for being a fruitier nose, I'm having trouble picking out exactly what fruit it is. Well, that's very nice. So I am getting the darker fruits with this one. I get a little bit of smoke and peat, but it's not heavy at all. It's very sweet on the taste with a nice long finish. I'm getting a little bit of maybe some of the, the cured meats, uh, some of the ta toffee, taffy, toffee, to toffee, no, not toffee, uh, jerky. I'm looking for beef jerky. Not toffee at all. No, I don't think there's toffee in here. And I have a floater in here, I think, too. That's not cool. That's been the end of the bottle. Something that <laughs> hung around. So what do you do when you have something floating in your glass? Do you try to fetch it out? Or you just drink? Don't worry about it. Ah, I'm just going to drink and not worry about it. <laughs> yeah, there's missing fruits here for the long repeated. It's the, it's the tire rubber. It's the smokiness. It's the peatiness. Woo! Much different whiskeys much different. This is much more peated, much more smoky. And the long row isn't really giving me fruit as much as it's giving me plants. So I'm getting maybe some herbs and spices where this one is giving me more fruity notes. I do like them both. Obviously, I drank a lot of them. <laughs> I drank all of the Springbank 15. That's going in the recycle review. That's good. This long row peated is close to empty. I think it might get finished off while I'm editing this episode. Let's plan on it, huh? <laughs> Yeah, these are very different. There's a much longer finish on the long row, and it is a very peaty, smoky finish. Like you've been too close to an ashtray for too long and you can't get that taste out of your mouth. But I don't mind it because I think it's a, a good peated whiskey. I think it's got some lovely textures to it, and I feel like it has a little bit of an edge that gives you that herbal note. There's a hint of salt and iodine in there, but it's a nice 
flavor profile. I think you just have to be in the mood for a less sweet peated whiskey. Yeah, I think some people might get a medicinal note from this, but it's not a Lafroig 10 type medicinal note. There's a little hint of that in there, but it's certainly not the same class of smoke and peat. But this is definitely a lot more smoky, a lot more peaty than the 15. I really like the Springbank 15. I'd love to know if you've had other expressions from Springbank, uh, either the Long Row or one of the other age statement whiskeys. So I'd like to hear in the comments which ones you've explored and suggestions on which one I should try next because I like them. I, I really do. I just don't have them around enough. And maybe that's because they're a little hard to find and the expressions that I saw that were in stock for Springbank were the higher age statement ones, but they were much higher in price. I'm not gonna spend $400, $800 on a bottle of whiskey right now. So my recommendation is if you like smoky whiskeys, if you like really intense smoke, you go with a long row peated. If you like a subtle smoke with a nice sherry balance with the fruits that come with sherry notes, go with the Springbank 15. They're not overly priced. Uh, they may be hard to find. Let me know about that in the comments too, if you can get these pretty easily or not. I am going to uh, enjoy these tonight and try to finish off the long row. So until the next episode, take care of yourself, take care of those people around you, and cheers. I'm gonna forget about that little floater in there. I'm gonna probably drink that later. <laughs> it may happen. Thank you.